Hello YouTube, this is how to customize group manager to make new classes and make people different ranks on your bucket server. So you're going to first want to go to bucket.org. Once you're on bucket.org, you're going to want to click get plugins. Under title, search essentials, click the first one. Download all three to your desktop. One, two, and three. Once you have them downloaded, you're going to want to open your server. Drag all the WinRAR files in there. Highlight them, right click, extract here, then you can just delete the others, and then um, run your server. It loads up, and it should make folders for those jar files, and you can edit everything from there. Any day, there we go. So then you can exit, open up your plugins, and look, all those folders there. If you want to, since you're going to want to edit Crew Manager, open it up, config, don't really mess with that too much. Global groups, you can um, change it, like if you want uh, the global group moderator to have more, you could edit add uh, essentials nodes here find the nodes you're going to want to open the uh, uh, internet search essentials permission nodes click command reference and here are all the nodes for essentials find one you just click the little plus highlight essentials.nick or highlight any of those whichever ones you want to give the, the group that you're editing and then once you're done with that save and exit open up the world file world and groups under there and this is where you're going to do most of your editing you could change the name if you don't like the name default you can change it to anything you want and then the default would be if you want everyone to spawn as that group you put true so i want us then everyone to start off as a noob so that's true everyone will start off as a noob this is the only they have right now to kill themselves inheritance this means that the groups that you're adding at first the global groups if there's a g in front of it like that that means it's a global group so everything it inherits is from all the global groups if you don't want that just highlight delete i usually do that and then you can add like certain commands to the permission just like you did before info prefix if you want the prefix and E, which is white, that'll be nothing. If you say and E, newbie, then and one, then their name. You want them to build? Yes, you do. So to say newbie in white, then my name and color, and the suffix is sucks a lot. All right, and then you're done with that. You can save it. You can edit all these if you want. It takes a little while, but you can do it. Turn your server again. Make sure there's no errors in whatever you did. Frequently check if you save it, see if there's errors. Keep doing that. Make sure you don't edit a whole bunch of stuff and get a whole bunch of errors, which would be terrible. You have to restart. No errors for me, so let's go to Minecraft. Okay, I'm back in Minecraft, and as you can see, you have no mail, it means Essentials is active. Yep, as you can see, newbie, oh I guess a newbie just for it sucks a lot. And if you want to change groups, you probably have to be an opt, so you're going to have to opt yourself from the server. And once you're opt, you can do slash man, you add, which is, um, just add the person. And group, say jeff 44 admin. Now I'm in the group admin, so if I say hi, I won't have, like, newbie in front of my name and stuff. And whatever you have in front of admin and all that will be there. Once you have that, all, all your different commands will be there. Game mode 1, fly around, cool ravine I found, right underneath the village. What the heck is that? Bitch. Thanks for watching.